How's it going, everyone? There is a batch of great JRPGs still to come in 2022 for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5, and I want to highlight those in this video. We've got about 12 games to go over. I just want to mention right off the top that I am going to be leaving Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion off this list. It's scheduled for winter 2022. That makes it sound to me like it's going to be an early 2023 game. Winter goes into 2023, of course, so... Just keep that in mind. Based on everything I've been told, it does seem like that's a 2023 game. So with that being said, let's get right into this lineup and let's start things off with the Dio Field Chronicle. The Dio Field Chronicle is a game that was revealed at Sony State of Play a few months ago. And it was a game that initially when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, a new Final Fantasy Tactics. It wasn't a new Final Fantasy Tactics, but it is a brand new IP that looks quite good. Square Enix notes, a gritty and immersive story brought to life with the latest technology introducing real-time tactical battle a new deeply strategic real-time battle system the beginnings of a new strategy rpg crafted by a skilled and experienced development team it also notes the battles in this game are defined by real-time assessment of the battlefield conditions and issuing decisive orders that take advantage of your troops strengths and weaknesses to gain advantage over your foe make clever use of a variety of skills classes and equipment to complete your mission you've got realistic diorama style battle scenes as well ritually detailed depictions of the environments of the island of dio field combined with unique diorama style visuals as you command your forces like a general of course looks like it has an emphasis on its narrative as well dio field chronicle is scheduled for a release on September 22nd. Next up, we have a surprising RPG, and one that's right around the corner, and that's Soul Hackers 2. I don't think a lot of us expected to see Soul Hackers 2 be released this year, but there you go, Atlas and Sega getting work done, and Soul Hackers 2 is just a few weeks away from release. The game notes explore a supernatural RPG with stylish summoners and dark dangers lurking under the neon lights of a cyberpunk Japan. It's up to Ringo, an agent of Aeon, to save the world from Apocalypse. The game's got a very slick visual style. I would expect a great soundtrack as well, a dark narrative uh, can be expected on top of that. Explore a supernatural RPG with stylish summoners, amass demons, and unlock fusion combinations to create new, stronger demon allies using their lethal abilities for incredible assault on your foes. Strengthen your bonds with your teammates and dive deeper into their souls, reliving their adventures and discovering the truth of their uh, stories and yours. Expect quite a lot of content in this one as well. A dark narrative and a varied cast of characters. Soul Hackers 2 is scheduled for release on August 22nd. Next up, we have The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. When Lloyd Bannings is assigned to the Crossbell Special Support section, he and his new teammates must prove themselves as they fight to overcome the injustice of a city gripped by corruption. Of course, Legend of Heroes is a franchise that I rave about on this channel. However, it is a bit of a fragmented franchise over here in the States where it's not easily accessible to play every single game, but that is slowly starting to change, and that's going to continue with Trails from Zero finally being readily available over here stateside. Experience Crossbell in this exciting chapter from the renowned Legend of Heroes series, the site of an ongoing territorial struggle between the Erebonian Empire and the Republic of Calvard. Crossbell has developed into a prosperous city-state and one of the continent's leading economic centers. Now, bear in mind that this was initially a PSP game, so don't expect anything blow away from a visual standpoint, but what you're going to get is an incredibly compelling narrative. That extends to all of the Legend of Heroes game, one of the best JRPG franchises when it comes to world building and character development. It is absolutely stellar, and it'll continue September 27th with the release of the Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. Next up, we have another JRPG coming from Square Enix. This an action JRPG in Valkyrie Elysium. Yes, the Valkyrie franchise is finally back long ago. Ragnarok, the end of times, loomed upon the realm. The All-Father Odin, with the last of his strength, created an emissary of redemption, Valkyrie, her sole task being the salvation of a doomed world. This does look to be more of a fast-paced, action-oriented JRPG. Effortlessly soar through the battlefield and perform high-speed speed actions with the new Soul Chain system. Utilize a wide array of abilities and skills at the Valkyrie's disposal to unleash devastating combos. The Arts Gauge fill as players perform a continuous stream of attacks and maintain combos. Consuming the Arts Gauge enables the Valkyrie to perform powerful special techniques known as Divine Art. Valkyrie Elysium will be dropping on September 29th, and there will be a digital deluxe edition that brings us to our next game. We have Valkyrie Profile Lenith. Now, this is a port of the PSP title, and it will be included with the digital deluxe edition of Valkyrie Elysium. 
And it will be released on the same day as Elysium. I believe you'll be able to buy it standalone as well, so that'll be an option. The game notes an intricate and evocative tale of fates woven by gods, morals, steeped in Norse mythology, punctuated by groundbreaking combat, and brought to life by a soundtrack considered amongst gaming's greats. Behold the origin of the Valkyrie Profile franchise for yourself. This is a port of the PlayStation Portable version of the game, which was a remake of the PS1 title. So Valkyrie Profile Lenneth also dropping on September 29th. Next up, we have Monochrom Mobius Rights and Wrongs Forgotten, a new JRPG from veteran studio Aqua Plus. This is the story of a man who will be sung about in a Legends, yes. Not the most captivating uh, premise for a JRPG, but uh, the game does look quite good, don't get it twisted. The game obviously has a heavy story emphasis, and while I wouldn't say the visuals are absolutely blow away, I really wouldn't be expecting that out of an Aqua Plus game. However, I do think the game has a pretty sleek aesthetic style, and do expect a pretty good soundtrack here as well. Monochrome Mobius, Rights and Wrongs Forgotten, will be dropping on October 19th. Next up, we have Made in Abyss, a binary star falling into darkness. Yes, of the popular anime IP, Made in Abyss is getting a video game and experience the awesome power of the Curse of the Abyss, as well as the astonishing legendary entities known as the primeval creatures. Prepare to glimpse the world of Rico and her friends. Another story takes place many days after Rico and Reg depart for the Abyss, the world's sole remaining unconquered chasm. The Abyss is the stage where many adventures are born and disappear. Those who appear in these stories are mesmerized by the power of the Abyss and aim for the bottom of the netherworld. The story about to be told is of the adventures of a nameless cave raider in the Abyss. Relive the world of the Abyss in a 3D action RPG, an original story, and the anime cast reprise their role for fully voiced event scenes. Made in Abyss, Binary Star Falling into Darkness is scheduled for release on September 2nd. Next up, we have Chained Echoes, which if you're looking for a throwback JRPG, this is going to be right up your alley. Take up your sword, channel your magic, or board your mech. Chained Echo is a 16-bit SNES-style RPG set in a fantasy world where dragons are as common as piloted mechanical suits. Definitely a throwback to classic JRPGs. In the course of their journey, they will travel through a wide array of diverse landscapes spanning from wind-tanned plateaus and exotic archipelagos to sunken cities and forgotten dungeons. Follow a group of heroes as they explore a land filled to the brim with charming characters, fantastic landscapes, and vicious foes. The game notes 30 to 40 hours of playtime, fast-paced turn-based battles, no random encounters, tons of items to be looted, stolen or crafted, complex skill and equipment system, customize your own airship, travel and fight by foot or in your mech, 16-bit SNES-style graphics, and music inspired by PS1 RPGs. The game is scheduled for release sometime in the fall of this year. Next up, another popular anime getting a JRPG. With an original story, we have One Piece Odyssey. Yes, maybe you don't want to watch the 3 million episodes of One Piece, although if you have interest in this game, you're probably watching the 3 million episodes of One Piece. One Piece Odyssey is a brand new RPG. Adventures are never forgotten. Set out on a new adventure with the Straw Hat crew on a new mysterious land. Explore the legendary island of Walford and uncover the story of its inhabitants. Mysterious ruins and never-before-seen monster populate a completely new scenario and storyline never before seen in the One Piece story. Straw Hats as one defeat, new enemies unravel mysteries and unearth a whole new adventure with the Straw Hats. In addition to Luffy, play as Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Chopper, Robin, Frankie, and Brooke. RPG with a One Piece twist, experience quests and dungeons, all with an authentic One Piece twist. Enjoy what you love about RPGs, but with your favorite characters and an original touch from the One Piece universe. One Piece Odyssey is scheduled for release sometime by the end of this year. Next up, yet another JRPG from Square Enix. This one getting quite a bit of Buzz, we have the latest in the Star Ocean franchise, Star Ocean The Divine for Square Enix and Trice present the latest title in the Star Ocean RPG franchise. Now, Star Ocean is a franchise that is widely revered and regarded as a top-tier JRPG franchise. However, some of the recent entries have been a bit of a mixed bag. I think everybody agrees integrity and faithlessness. Not a great game. Star Ocean 4 had some good parts, had some not gr so great parts, but hopefully this one will be an entry that can be unanimously, at least mostly unanimously praised. This one notes you can move in three dimension while flying around the largest environment ever. Whether you're flying around and exploring rock faces and roofs of buildings in the city or leaping off cliffs to seamlessly enter battle, you'll have more 
more freedom in terms of both adventuring and battling while the game will give you space to play as you please. The scope of its battles has also evolved. Characters can subdue a large number of enemies with super high speed movement attacks, special abilities where you can vanish for a brief moment from right in front of your enemy's eyes, and a skill that can kill in one hit. Star Wars in the Divine Force is scheduled for a release on October 27th. Next up, we have the PlayStation 5 release of Persona 5 Royal. Yes, Persona 5 Royal is getting a PlayStation 5 upgrade. While not much is yet known about it, it is coming alongside the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC release on October 21st. Now, the PlayStation 5 already plays Persona 5 Royal at 4K, so I would imagine that this would see a bump up in the frame rate. That's still something that could be pretty nice to have in Persona 5 Royal is a top-tier JRPG, widely considered by many to be one of the best, and many would consider it to be the best of all time. However, the one unfortunate thing is you don't get a free upgrade if you already own the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Absolute head-scratcher there, but hey, nothing I can do about it. But uh, yeah, Persona 5 Royal will be hitting PlayStation 5 on October 21st. And lastly, here's one that I am really excited for. Tactics Ogre Reborn. Yes, Tactics Ogre is getting a new port on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. This is a remastered version of the 2010 PSP release and now will be readily available on PS4 and PS5. Along with that, a wide variety of upgrades will be included as well. This is a top-tier tactical RPG. And the PS1 version goes for a pretty penny, so just to have it on the PS4 and PS5 is going to be great. The cutscenes are fully voiced in English and Japanese and all of the music has been re-recorded with live performances. The voices bring new life to the complex motivations of the characters that make up the factions and shifting political alliances of the epic story. On top of that, a lot of improvements have been included as well, so this is going to be a nice update to Tactics Ogre, and hopefully it's priced pretty well on top of that. Chrono Trigger Radical Dreamers Edition was priced at $19.99. I would imagine something similar here with Tactics Ogre Reborn. But that is going to do it for me. Again, a wide plethora of JRPGs to get into for the rest of the year on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Let us know which JRPGs you're the most excited for in the comment section down below. Sound off there, and as always, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.